Okay, so welcome to uh, I guess uh, just a really quick example uh, program or control system here. So we're gonna do something like this proportional gain. Oh, yeah. So I guess I gotta, I gotta talk to the camera. I'm gonna draw a block diagram on here and then talk about it. Let's see. Let's do a uh, first order system. One over s plus three. Okay, so I've got uh, first order system, 1 over S plus 3, proportional gain here, and then we're going to close the loop to analyze the closed loop dynamics. So I'm going to cascade these two blocks together. So I'm going to get K over S plus 3. Okay, so that's cascade. Alright, and then after I do cascade, then you got to do the feedback rule. So I'm going to combine all the blocks together. So I'm going to call this G prime, and then uh, H down here is 1, and so the closed loop formula is G prime over 1 plus G prime H, and say so you get K over S plus 3 over 1 plus K S plus 3. Uh, you're going to multiply the top and bottom by the denominator to get rid of the uh, improper fraction. That's going to cancel with that. That's going to distribute, and so what you get, you're going to get the, uh, if this is the reference command and this is the output, you're going to get the reference command here, and you're going to get k over s plus 3 plus k, like this, and this is my output here. So this is my closed loop system. Um, if you notice, open loop, I've got one pole at negative 3, so that's stable. Over here, my, uh, my pole is negative 3 plus k. So as long as k is greater than negative 3, my system is stable. And since it's first order, you don't need to do a route table, you don't even really need to do a root locus. You can just kind of look at the poles and determine you know, that the system is stable. If you want to do it more rigorously, you can say negative 3 plus k has to be greater than 0, like that, right? Or sorry, less than 0, because you want this to be in the left half plane. And so if you multiply both sides by negative 1, you're going to get 3 plus k is greater than 0. And then k, if you subtract 3, you're going to get k greater than negative 3. Okay. And so there's a, a simple example there um, on the, uh, for that guy. Let's uh, jump on the computer and let's program this so we can actually see uh, this in action. Okay.